Okay. It's uh, 3.24 p.m. 3.24 p.m. Monday, September 23rd, 2024. We are waiting uh, to see if there's any activity with the mules. 5130 and 5132. <clears throat> we shall see. Now it's just a waiting game. I got to work on my food. Because I'm hungry. And that's it for me. Time to take a break.
Okay, it's uh, 3.30 p.m. We are waiting for the mules or the mob. Sometimes she leaves early. So we are waiting. The mules are still sleeping. Just like I said, the mules are still sleeping. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That's him. He returned. The kid returned. At first, I was doubting myself if um, that was the same kid because he, he ignored that place. But uh, no, that's the same kid. So I just wanted to make sure I checked my facts straight. Uh, this is a special delivery, white Carter bag pickup. And this address is 5130 West 24th Street, in Laramie, uh, Cicero, Illinois, 60804. Again, this is a white Carter bag, special delivery, white Carter bag pickup. And this address is 5130 West 24th Street in Laramie, Cicero, Illinois, 60804. Um, if you were watching him, he was checking his phone. Oh, there he is. He was checking his phone. And community gang stocking. And let's see. That's him right there. And he's off. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. There you go. That's a special delivery, white powder bags, and you heard the community gang stocking in the background. It's um, 3.32 p.m. 3.32 p.m. He returned. Uh, he walked by with his friend, which happens to be a female, uh, from the same school. They were in the same uniform. And he returned, and if you look at closely at the video, he was checking his phone. So he was called, and, or he's checking to see, to check in. But the candy man was waiting for him in the back. And uh, daily drug dealing, traffic transactions, distribution and packing, special delivery, white powder bag, pickup, cocaine. Uh, organized crime family is expanding. Uh, they're manipulating after school children. That young child most likely has no idea what he's carrying. Uh, he's just told, or something is just placed inside his book bag. Uh, they supply the, the bike. And he has instructions to deliver. That's how uh, this uh, these predators manipulate smart children at the school. I have visited several schools in the area. Town of Cicero Police Department refuses to open up an investigation regarding my daily harassment. And this is the reason for the daily harassment. This is the reason for the daily harassment, and um, it's well documented before and after evidence of fire at this address, no investigation, cover-up by Thomas Cicero Police Department. Um, <clears throat> the mules, organized crime family employees, the mules right here, the blue car, and the white van. And they're also working next door, 5132. And we have earlier footage, our Riviera, right behind the dollar store. 
We have earlier footage of our Riviera right behind the dollar store, uh, drug trafficking as well. And the main property owner is involved, we, is well documented. And that's, that's the reason for the dollar store always harassing me and threatening my life, by the way. Um, and the mules threatening my life. And Anthony J. Loader threatening my life, who you don't see around. And Melo Greco threatening my life. And the, uh, the bag man. All of them are threatening my life. And the mob, Board of Education District 99, threatening my life. All of them are threatening my life. And uh, it's because of this. It's because of this. I provide a public service. It's not, about, it's, it's not just about me anymore. It's about innocent children after school. Organized crime family has no shame. Murder plot continues. I am being harassed electronically on a daily basis, day and night. And uh, let me show you uh, what I wear. I have to wear this, and it has it's, uh, it's a rubber hat on a daily basis, day and night. Um, I already had a brain aneurysm once. Oh, that's the vehicle that is always harassing me as far as community gang stalking. Uh, he's called upon on a daily basis, and he's always back there. Let's see if we can get a, a glimpse of who he is. Um, if you look at the footage... On, on command signal, instructions given, uh, he will be uh, harassing me on a daily basis, community gang stalking. And uh, again, the murder plot continues. Extreme high-level frequency harassment coming from next door, 5135 West 24th Street in Laramie, Cicero, Illinois, 60804. Organized crime family, second floor hideout, home base. Daily ordered instructions by Anthony J. Loder, Melo Greco, and the rest of organized crime family. Signed contract with homeowner Martinez, wife, daughter, son, daughter-in-law. Paid incentives. Home improvement, family vacation, use of cars. Uh, looks like he's uh, taking his time. He's probably been instructed not to come out, but that's okay. Sooner or later, we get them. Uh, organized crime family, that's what they do. They're very good at hiding and following instructions. And I really don't. See? He ran inside that door real fast. See? He even left the door open. See? Told you. He ran inside there. See, instructions given. High-tech surveillance monitor, very aware of my location and activities. Once I turned the camera away, look how quickly he ran inside that door. See? So this is how they're able to uh, carry on this murder plot against my life. Again, electronic harassment. I already suffered one brain emerism. And that's the reason why organized crime family. Oh, I see movement back there. There you go. That's the reason organized crime family uh, panicked and moved out from 5132 West 24th Street to Laramie, uh, Cicero, Illinois, 60804. Anthony J. Loder and Melo Greco, his uncle. Uh, they recently moved in a month or two ago, new tenants in the second floor to avoid investigation by the IRS Internal Revenue Services. Uh, the, the people that are in charge of this property, they live in the basement. And the first floor remains vacant. I guess organized crime family is hopeful that uh, I will disappear. That's not going to happen, folks. I am here to stay. And this criminal organization will continue to be exposed.
especially when they're um, going after young children after school manipulation. Okay, uh, let me show you the rest. Uh, bright light harassment, see? And they they use that, uh, they cover up the window right there with plastic, and they use truck lights with a dimmer switch. And they come in and out. They come in and out from right there. 5135, right there. They come in and out. So there is activity. There is movement. So we're going to stay focused here. There is movement. Okay. There is movement. So we're going to stay focused right there. Okay. Uh, we're looking at uh, the daily entry and exit of organized crime. And I see homeowner Martinez back there. See, that's her right there. See, that's homeowner Martinez. And she is the lookout uh, for organized crime to come in and out of this property. She is the lookout. And she's also um, instructed as far as uh, order of protection. I manipulate my ex-wife. I am harassing them. And the reason for the order of protection is to avoid recording. Uh, see, whoever was there, they just left or they were instructed to uh, close the door. See, they were instructed to close the door. So that's how they're able to come in and out unnoticed. And they carry on this murder plot against my life. That's the reason uh, organized crime families panic, and that's the reason they moved out from 5132. And they have a signed contract with uh, homeowner Martinez's wife, daughter, son, daughter in law, and they're living in the second floor. As you can see, um, she was the lookout, and she was clearly the lookout. And as they exited, she was right there standing, making sure the close is clear. No witnesses. This is how they're able to exit and enter on a daily basis through the back and carry on their murder plot against me from the second floor. Uh, I'm being harassed electronically on a daily basis. So keep your eyes on me, folks. I'm providing a public service. But it does come with a price on my head. I am a target. Okay, we're going to um, continue the footage. And we're going to stay focused back here as well. Uh, it's um, 2 2.43 p.m. September 23rd, 2024, Monday. 3.43 p.m. Okay, we're going to stay focused. 